Hey guys, today I'm going to be taking a short look at a uh, visual novel called Cyber City 2157. And before I start, I just want to read the description of the game. It says, Feel the mysterious world of molds and the city where the sun never sits. Look for clues, make decisions, and follow your path in the Cyber City 2157. So, I'm not really sure what to expect from this game, so I'm just going to start a new game. It says, Insert the first cassette. This is a, a very low resolution grainy picture here. Um, kind of strange looking, kind of pixelated. So it says the voice in my head, where are we? Oh, I think I can use spacebar, there we go. Maybe, okay, I'll just click. The voice inside of me, who are we? The voice in my head, look around, what do you see? All right, so it's gonna alternate between the voice in my head and the voice inside of me. So I'm just gonna read the, um, the dialogue. There's a spaceport in the middle of the desert, and nothing else for many kilometers around, except maybe a few tumbleweeds. I don't hear any sound. It's the perfect stillness of the desert, but it gives me no clue what's happening around. I see the rocket ready for launch, and it seems like there isn't much time before the start. How did we get here? I don't remember. Does it matter now? Everybody get ready. We have liftoff. Who are these people? They sound like they are near us. Can you see them? No, I think they are in this building, which is on the edge of the desert. Three... Two, one. Start of the lifting. What a sound. It was deafening. It would not be funny to lose my hearing. Can you warn me next time, moron? I thought it would be funny to scare you a little bit. Don't be angry. Instead, listen to what I am going to tell you. Come on, but don't think... Wait. Come on, but don't think that I'll forgive you so easily. Rocket is rising and leaving the cloud... Leaving clouds of dust, covering the whole desert with it. Oops. Dust has covered my eyesight. The first stage is successful. We are gaining altitude. Every member of the team should focus. The rocket is accelerating. It's tearing clouds. Amazingly, how can this heavy thing fly? It is not just a heavy pile of metal. It's a high-tech invention. If you were wiser, perhaps, you could understand. Maybe I'm not very smart, but I'm not as boring as you are. Oh, the image starts to fade, replaced by another one. What? <laughs> Then a new picture appears. The ship entered the Earth's orbit. We are so high, it's a wonderful sight of our old planet. What a pity you can't see it. Sometimes you are so annoying, but I need to get along with it for a while, although... Oh, why are you so serious? It hurts me. You are so angry, my elder brother. Orbital injection has been successful. Stabiliz stabilization of the ship is com has been completed. Ready for the general, general mission. Do you hear us, team? Yes, Sinner. There's a small signal lag, but I hear you, ready to dispatch the general mission. Something's wrong. Antennas are not deployed. Stop. How do you know that? You cannot see it without me. The voice from inside of me. I just know that, but I won't tell you how. Your behavior is too bad, younger brother. Sinner, we have a problem. Antennas have not opened. We tried to run them from the backup unit, but it was unsuccessful. Damn it, wait a bit. We'll look for the indicators on our screens. There's something strange in the antenna, something like a shadow. It's over. It's disappeared. All indicators and ship systems are normal. You need to get out and inspect the ship. There is no way to solve this problem. The system calculated the success properly for this solution at 87 out of 100. Affirmative. I'm moving out. The hatch opens. The figure of an astronaut, tiny compared with the ship, an invisible contrasted with the Earth, has fallen from it. How symbolic it is, I'm shivering. Don't shiver, I'm shivering with you, in case you forgot. Egress has been perfect. There were no problems. I'm moving to the antennas. The figure starts moving, clinging to the frustrations of the spacecraft skin like a, like a little space monkey. How cute and stupid can you be at the same time? I've reached the antennas, started inspection. You shouldn't be here. Go away. Run before it's too late. Sinner, I hear voices. Something is wrong over here. I will continue to dispatch the mission. Check the equipment. Repeat. I can't hear you. Shh. What an unpleasant voice. It doesn't forecast anything good. Had he disobeyed them? Yes. I don't understand. Where did the voice come from? There is no one around us. Only space. Sinner, alert. My hands are sliding. I'm losing contact with the ship. Oh no. Little space monkey. <laughs> what? I can't hold it. It's as if the wind blows here, but it's absolutely impossible. What the hell is going on here? Can you hear me, Sinner? I've lost contact with the ship. Oh, that was a loud noise. 
Moose is in the launch center. Why didn't you listen to us? Why didn't you listen to us? Why didn't you listen to us? The figure of the astronaut starts to move away like a blown plastic bag. Poor space monkey. Why does it always happen? The elder brother. There are, there are another voices. They are not from here. These people don't understand what they are dealing with. Maybe you should stop talk, talking in riddles, nerdy. Akira, Akira, get in touch. According to our data, you are drawn away from the ship. I, my hands, I fly away from the ship. Monkey is very sad and scared. What a pity. Heck, Akira, get a hold of yourself. We'll think of something. While they are thinking, the form is moving further and further away from the ship, surrounded by silence. Shh, I hear the rattle of the metal. Center antennas. Antennas have opened. I did it. That's correct. Antennas began to open. Remember how we were looking at the moon? Everything is over. Goodbye, younger brother. Stay well, old man. What the heck? What was I saying? Same time, sometime you or something? Alright, this is the beginning of the game. Cyber City 2157. Am I awake now? What a strange dream I've had today. Everything was so real, as if I had seen it with my own eye. And what was with the name of the Cosmonaut? Monkey? Sometimes we can see really funny things in our dreams, or scary things. Antennas? Why did they deploy the antennas? I should understand the logic of my dreams. And all those scenes, they are so familiar. Where could I have seen all of this? Okay, it's time to get out of my bed. When my day begins pretty early, I check the mail and decide to continue to sleep or get to work. Usually, I work by remote contracts, but my last client was in my own town. I haven't been told of the name of the company. All of their activities are a mystery for me. My goal is to create a replica of the director's wife for the holographic interface. It's fast and clean work. They don't want to fully deal with me by email, and this makes my work more complicated. Their reluctance can be compared only with my reluctance to leave the home. But I really needed the money, and there was no other work on the horizon. I didn't want to go back to the office. Colleagues, constant communication, bosses, these things scare me more than a problem with money. Although, who am I fooling? Now I work in this... Now I work the same way. I cling with the last bit of strength to the image of a free man. I have even remembered the name of my colleagues, so I should stop thinking about it to feel disgusted with myself. System, activate the postal service. The screen began to move, waves of the screen began shaping something like an image. The screen is old, and... Uh, wow, this music's kinda loud. Hopefully you can hear me. The screen is old, and I prefer to use the voice interface. Postal service, you have two messages. Open them. Irony, the person who does the holographic molds can't afford the system for reproducing them. Open and read them aloud. Message first from AKSC. Dear Cosmo Boy, we inform you that today it is necessary to come to our office according to the contract. We wait for you at the usual time. Your customer received 20 minutes ago. Customer executes all terms of contract. It's perfect. Go to the next message, the second message from ISM. Remember how we looked at the moon? We received one minute ago. What nonsense. These words sound familiar as if I heard them recently. Puzzle servers give me more information about the sender. This sender normally sends message from within the system. I don't understand. Reference. Explain in detail. ISM internal system message. Message doesn't have an external sender. It was sent with the, the device you're using at the moment. The message contains an error code that moved to the help topic corresponding to this error. Message contains text. Possibly your system has undergone an external invasion. The end of reference. Remember how we looked at the moon. I heard these words in my dream, an unusual coincidence. But how is this possible? That someone could break into my system only to leave such an incomprehensible message? Maybe it's some kind of code, and another message will be sent with more information. Hackers may be planning something bad. It can, be, it can cause me trouble. Postal Service frees the action with the second message. Error. The message with its number isn't detected. You have only one message from the sender, AKSC. Self-destructive message. Things are becoming more and more interesting, but I've... I've got to get ready for work. I can't be late, or I will get a fine. I have to call customer service this evening. I hope they can explain something to me about the, my old system. Postal service report about the weather on the street and turn off. Temperature outside is plus 15 degrees. Sun is in the blue sector. Have a nice day. The system turns off and stops emitting a hum. I guess the morning start is quite strange. Alright, so I think I'm going to end this video here. I, I guess I can just keep skipping along to see some of the pictures. Um... But yeah, kind of an interesting, like, futuristic, I suppose, um, story, where you start out 
like in the past with some astronauts going into space and then uh, I guess you wake up and you're going to work and you get some messages about your dream and I guess some more things happen but these pictures are like what are these like really low resolution pictures <laughs> like pixelated I guess they're pictures of real life or something I'm kind of surprised if someone actually made these pictures but uh and I guess there's some dialogue options. Let's go home, go for a walk. So yeah, uh, if you enjoyed what you saw here, or enjoyed listening to this uh, short beginning of the story, be sure to check this game out on Steam. It's called Cyber City 2157, the visual novel, and I hope you guys have a nice day.